Aloha everyone, welcome back. Happy Fertile February. I'm Candace Neves joining you from Hawaii Nei, uh, my home here under the bananas. And we're gonna continue our discussions around fertility. So last week's video was all about healing the sacral chakra, uh, working with opening up our creative energy, whether we wanna conceive or not. Um, creativity is a big part of being a woman. And so we talked about the different ways to uh, heal the womb space and connect deeper into our own creativity and allow that energy to really open up and flourish. And today I wanna get a little bit more specific. Um, as you probably know, I've been on an amazing journey of natural healing of infertility myself. I was told I would never conceive naturally because of two blocked fallopian tubes. Both sides were blocked. Um, saw it in an exam that I had and four months later I conceived and nine months later I gave birth to a beautiful baby girl who's now almost two years old. I'm now pregnant with my second baby on the way. We're 20, almost 27 weeks along and um, I'm, I'm just feeling the energy of all the women out there who have been told the same thing who are, are struggling with blocked fallopian tubes and wondering what they can do um, to change that situation today. So I wanna share some things that I learned that really helped me. So four things that I wanna to talk to you about today that can specifically support you to open up your fallopian tubes or to bring healing to fallopian tubes or any other imbalances that might be happening in the womb. Um, in my situation, I had a test performed uh, called an HSG, which sends a dye into the uterus. And in a healthy scenario, this dye will, you can see it on an x-ray, um, it'll spill out from the, from the uterus into each fallopian tube and then down into the ovaries. And in my scenario, that dye stopped at the beginning of those um, fallopian tubes. So it thereby suggested that my tubes were blocked and a doctor then said to me, there's no way that you can conceive naturally because your tubes are blocked. So the only option that you have is to get IVF. That's not true. He was wrong. I asked him if he had ever said that to someone before and he admitted that yes, he had. And they had come back and they had conceived naturally. So he kind of contradicted himself right away in our conversation there. Um, so don't, don't believe everything that you hear. That's really, really, really important piece. Um, so shortly thereafter first of all i got a loud clear message um a voice said don't receive this as your truth keep going keep the faith i'm going to show you what to do um just you know stay on your journey keep eating well keep doing all the things that you've been doing practicing yoga practicing meditation keeping your stress levels low and the answers will come to you so a girlfriend of mine a dear dear friend of mine Mama T, I, if you know Trisha, uh, Mama T, she's on the island of Oahu. She's an amazing vegan chef and amongst so many other incredible things. She's a musician, she's a mama, she's a dancer, and she makes these wonderful comfy bars. Anyway, she's an angel. She's a real life angel and um, a dear friend of mine. And Mama T is a warrior of prayer. She's always when I need a prayer, I call Mama T and I'm like, Mama, I'm calling this in, will you pray for me? And she does, and she, her prayers are really powerful. So she's been praying for me for a long time. She was actually there um, when I went through the, the first miscarriage and she was really rooting for us to get pregnant. So she watched my journey unfold. And Mama T stumbled across a YouTube video. It's part of the reason why I'm here making videos now. Um, and in this YouTube video, a woman was talking about her experience of healing her infertility. And she was like, maybe this is a good video for you to watch. And she actually knew nothing about the test that I had gotten. It was like total synchronicity that out of the blue, she sent me this video. Well, the woman in the video had also had the same test performed, had been told that she had two blocked fallopian tubes and then had done a few different things for her healing. So some of the things in her protocol I was already incorporating, um, and that was Dong Kwai and castor oil packs. 
and then some of the things I had never tried. And she mentioned an enzyme called serapeptase. So serapeptase is an enzyme that comes from the belly of silkworms and it works to break down fibrin and dissolve scar tissue. And I don't know that this is exactly what did the trick, but I do know that this was a piece that I incorporated in the four months between getting that diagnosis and then being able to conceive. So I have a feeling that this had a lot to do with it. Um, I started taking this enzyme, serapeptase, and a few other things came into my field around that time. But I do believe that serape taking serapeptase was helpful for me. Um, you'll want to look it up. You'll want to talk to your physician, your naturopath, your doctor, tune into your angels, your guidance, all of it, and see if it's right for you. I'm not saying that you should do this. I'm just telling you what I did for myself and that it worked. So I started taking the serapeptase and then next up would be red clover. Um, this was an herb that I had not been using prior and I started incorporating, I think I was taking red clover capsules at that time, but you can also take them, um, you can take red clover as a tea that you drink every single day. So herbal teas work when we're incorporating them on a consistent basis. Um, so my acupuncturist talked to her Chinese medicine teacher who said that uh, if the fallopian tubes are blocked, you wanna bring circulation to the womb space. So she suggested that I take red clover and I also started taking red clover. I added that into an entire protocol that I was already doing that I share more about in other videos and um, we'll talk about that another time or you can go watch those videos when you're ready. So we got serapeptase, we got red clover, number three, Mayan abdominal and womb massage. And I have a whole video about it. Definitely um, click the link in the description below to watch that video and to learn more about what Mayan abdominal massage is. The video is called Natural Fertility Secrets. And that's like one of my big, big, big secrets. So I had this massage performed. I learned how to do it on myself. Um, a month and a half after that happened is when we conceived. So I really, really, really believe in it. I have had several clients and friends um, do the massage and also have success conceiving after years of unsuccess unsuccessful attempts and um, or not having a moon cycle and then their moon cycle comes back. Um, it's great for healing fibroids and all kinds of things. So I really, really, really believe in this. And my number four, my number four um, thing that I gathered about healing the, my fallopian tube specifically is also in relationship to healing in general, and that is faith. It is having undying faith that what you want, you deserve, you can have, and you will manifest in the form that you need in your life. And I really, really desired to have a child to meet the soul that I felt was also pulling on me. It wasn't just me wanting them. She was up there wanting to get to me too. And I, I needed to go on this whole journey to find my way there. But in order to keep going, I had to keep the faith. So I wanna encourage you today to look for signs, to pay attention to the subtleties because we're always getting messages about what's happening in our lives. And if we're paying attention and listening, we can receive that guidance and incorporate it into our experience. It can give us a little bit of reassurance or whatever we need. So I want to tell you a story about what happened when I went in to get um, this test performed. I was waiting in the, I had, was in the waiting room and I was just sitting there. I, I went by myself and um, I was maybe a little bit nervous, but mostly like excited and, and relaxed about things and just you know, I'd been anticipating it for some time. I'd had all these other tests performed and my hormone levels were great and everything looked good. So it was like, well, why is this woman not able to conceive? And this was the last piece. And as I was waiting, I received a text message from a friend that I don't really text with ever. In fact, I don't know if she had ever reached out to me. And she said that she saw a flyer. I was playing music at the time with my husband and she saw a flyer um, with our names on it and our pictures. And she just wanted to reach out and let me know that 
um, she missed me, she's doing good, and she hoped that I was good, and that she was six weeks pregnant, like totally out of the blue. And here I am trying to get pregnant, about to go in to have this test done. So I, I wrote back and I was like, wow, that's incredible, congratulations. And also who tells you when they're six weeks pregnant? Like most people are keeping it pretty close at that time. So it was just like such a random thing. And I said, I'm so happy for you. I said, um, I'm actually going in to get some testing done to find out about my own situation I've been trying to conceive. Um, can you, you know, say a prayer for me? Um, or send me some good energy. I think I asked her to just send me some good energy because I was like on that same boat hoping to be in her position soon. And so she wrote back and she writes this beautiful prayer and it's just like, Dear Lord, please let Candace and Adam have a baby and all these beautiful, beautiful things. And I, I can't remember exactly what she said now, but I remember there were like sparkles going off in the text and all these emojis. And I was just like, wow, that's an incredible blessing. Thank you so much. And then I went in and um, I saw what was happening and they weren't allowed to tell me right away, but I, I knew just based on the research that I had done, I could look at the x-ray screen and see that both of the fallopian tubes were blocked. And I knew what the doctor was gonna call and say um, based on that. So I came out with the understanding right away of what my situation was. Um, although that was one temporary snapshot in time and it changed very shortly thereafter. And that's the piece that doctors are missing is that it's temporary, that our bodies are constantly changing and that they can heal and change very quickly when we're taking good care of them. So anyways, um, you know, it was it was a little bit disheartening um, and I cried a little bit. And also I was still holding on to my faith so I knew I wasn't gonna stop trying and I knew that it was gonna be okay. But when I came out, I had another message from her and she said, the doctors told me I would never be able to conceive because of scar tissue. And here I am six weeks pregnant and um, just feeling great and you know, whatever happens, know that it's going to work out. So she had no idea what happened in that room. It was totally out of the blue. And this is what I'm hoping that you take away from this video today is that we're, we are always being guided. We are always being given what we need for our healing. And it's, there's often, um, there are often messages coming and we just have to be receptive and pay attention and stay open and keep the faith. Um, pray, ask for what you need. Whoever you pray to, Buddha, Krishna, Allah, Mama Nature, the universe, whatever you believe in, like know that you deserve to have what it is that your heart is yearning for. And um, that prayer is a wonderful way to welcome it in. And also ask your friends to pray for you and welcome the prayers and blessings of others because it's powerful. So I hope this inspires you. It's really personal, close to my heart, you know, experiences and information about my life. But I feel like I was meant to go on this journey to help other women to help other people, other couples conceive and to share my experience. And I really feel like that's what we're here to do is to go through hardships, to go through the pain and the sorrow and to gather all of the gems and the lessons and the blessings that come from it. And when it's time to share that, if it's with one person, if it's with a million, um, it could change somebody's life. So I hope that this helps you in some way. And please check out my other videos on fertility, on creativity on yoga. I'm a yoga teacher and I love teaching yoga. So I have yoga classes here um, on this channel and I hope that you will enjoy them and manifest the healing that you need in your life. And if you're desiring to meet your child, I send you blessings on your journey and pray that it happens soon for you. Thank you so much for joining me here today and have a beautiful rest of your day. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video and um, feel free to ask me any questions or share your experiences. If you feel we're not always ready to share and it, it is personal, but if you feel like you want to share, if you had a journey of healing or if you're struggling, you're in the middle of going through um, a lot of pain and you want to talk about it, this is a safe space to do so. And 
I hope that we can start a community and a conversation around real women's health and true holistic healing because this world really needs it. Don't believe everything that doctors tell you. Doctors know a lot, they don't know it all. And there's a lot of gaps in conventional medicine, especially around women's health. So do your research, read books, um, look to nature, look to the earth. And thank you for coming to me and trusting me and receiving my story today. Sending you so much love and blessings. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and the bell to be notified when I share more videos. We've got videos every Wednesday and I can't wait to join you again. <laughs> Thank you so much. Aloha.